Hey, what's up everybody? My name is James Grotowalski and I'm an animator and editor. Um, I just want to do some quick tutorials for you guys since I've learned pretty much everything I've learned on the internet. So um, these will range from basic to really advanced, but uh, this one will be a very basic uh, countdown and we'll learn how to create the countdown you see here. Alright, so there it is. We're going to create a one minute version of that. Alright, so first we're going to um, open up a new project. We're going to make a 1080 sequence at uh, 30 frames a second. Uh, we'll make a new layer and we'll call it uh, Timer. And um, the generic way that you can do this in After Effects without any kind of plugins, you can go to Effect, uh, Text, and Numbers. And then it asks you which font you want to use. Um, I usually like to use. Uh, Gotham font um, doesn't matter which one let's just choose bold and I'm going to create in this to be in the center so you see right away what we have is a uh, just a random zeros it's a number so there's a different type here in the numbers um, effect that you can choose to change and what you want to do is you want to change it to time code 30 um, these are how many frames per second your composition is so my composition is 30 frames per second so that's what I'm going to use now as you see as I scrub through and play it it is counting up so what we're going to create is a one minute countdown so um, the way that I figured out how to do this is um, obviously if you like this map back and forth movement um, then you can go ahead and keep that but I don't enjoy that kind of look so what you have to do is uncheck proportional spacing and that will create the spacing um, exactly the same throughout so these are a little squished now so I'm going to change the tracking value out a little bit farther um, about there okay and then uh, let's just make our text uh, an off-white okay so if we want to uh, count backwards from one minute down um, one thing is if you right click on it and you go to time uh, time reverse layer that will fix your problem right there alright so if you add a mask over the areas that you want off they're not gonna work because it just doesn't work with a certain effect of the number so what you're gonna have to do is pre-compose your timer move all the attributes in and you're going to mask out what you want and set the mask to subtract and now you have your timer so you can move that around however you want the only problem is if you scale if you go back in this composition and you scale it up and change some fonts and you come back into here you might have to move your mask around depending on what um, where the text is placed so here is the countdown it basically counts down from um, one minute down to zero let's just move composition over to start at one minute and now we got the countdown Okay, so the cool thing is is that we want something to interact with the music. So let's bring in our song. So here's our song here. Okay, so let's say we want to create the waveform that goes around the timer. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. Uh, let's call it Waves. And uh, we want to drag our song in, which I already have down in here. So we can hear our song now. Um, and for the waves, what we got to do is add an effect, generate, uh, there's audio spectrum and audio waveform. Audio spectrum is pretty much the same thing as waveform, but spectrum gives you more options, so I like choosing that. So as soon as you click it, you can see, I'm going to hide the timer, um, you have a line um, and nothing happens. What you need to do is you want to make sure that you set this to a certain audio layer. So on the top it says which one's your audio layer you at. You say the song on channel or uh, layer three. So now you can see a little bit happening here, right? Okay, so now let's say we wanted to go in a perfect circle around this thing. What we can do is we can create a mask and say we want this line to be around the mask. So we'll make a mask, put it in the center, hold command, option, shift, and create a perfect circle, let it go, okay, and nothing happens, right? So what we gotta do is we gotta go to the effects of the audio spectrum and create and, and go to the path and click mask one. Now what you can see is it's actually going around the mask. Um, so the cool thing is you can pick the frequencies so if this has a lot of bass and you only wanted to show just part of it showing the bass you can have a certain start frequency and an end frequency if you know your audio and let's turn up the maximum height so now when we hear the uh, music
So this basically samples which frequency um, you want to choose. And you can see as I go up higher and higher, the this area here is the bass, and then it goes to the higher frequencies here. So that's how you can kind of pick and choose which parts of the song you hear. Um, this is how many bands you have, so it, asks, um, it gives you more obviously lines. Now the problem is you can see that we're actually being cut off right here and that's because of our mask. What we have to do is we have to go to our mask and hit none um, and now it'll go past the mask line. Um, there's a maximum height level so you can pick how high you want it to be. The cool thing is is that you can change the uh, the type of waveform it shows. So for right now I have digital. You can change it to lines that are connected or dots that are kind of separated and then you can you can get all kinds of different looks depending on what you want you can even animate the mask and have the mask do whatever and, and these will follow um, also you can choose a side for them to be on so for me I just wanted to start on the circle here and have it on the outside so there's a side option side A and B A lets you do it from the middle part of the mask and B lets you do it from the outside of the mask so Let's turn up our bands and let's turn down our maximum height and let's do the same color. Okay, and now we've got something to move with our timer. So let's turn our timer back on, move it towards the center, um, and there we have it. Now, if you wanted to add a background to this, let's just add a ramp, a gradient ramp. Let's just do black to like a dark blue add some scatter, put it underneath, and there you have it. So uh, that is pretty much how you create a timer with audio reaction. All right, so hopefully that helped you guys with this tutorial. Um, pretty simple one, but I'll be coming out with more advanced ones later on. I just wanted to get you guys adjusted and see what you guys think about this. See you later.